Here there was the factor 36x squared minus y, 100y to the sixth, uh, completely. So here, now uh, you want to plug a common factor. I noticed that um, 36 and 100 are both equal to y2, right? Um, but we can find a larger number, but I want to work that way. So if we cut them in half, we don't get 36 and 100, we get 18 and 50, a half again, we get 9 and 25, and there are now no common factors, right? So here, um, we, we, we thought of 36 and 100 halved, and halved again, that, that means 4 goes into both of them, right? So your common factor is 4, so 4 times, oh, sorry, 4 times 9 x squared minus 25 y to the 6th. Okay, here though, uh, 9 x squared and 25 y to the 6th, those are both perfect squares. So 9 x squared, take the square root of that, it's 3x, right? This is all times 4. And then over here, we have 25 y to the 6th. So, so that means that the square root of that is 5 y to the what? Well, 5 y to the third, right? 5 y to the third. And so now we have these two square roots. We do with any other similar problem, type of problem. 5 y to the third. We add one pair and subtract the other, and we're done. So we have 3x plus 5 y to the third, 3x minus 5 y to the third times 4, it's choice 2.